Anthony's high secondary school, Father Anthony, respected vice principal, Father Noshai Walam, the organizing committee, all the different committees comprised of the faculty members of the school who have organized this wonderful event today, representatives from all the different participating schools, parents, past pupils, dear friends, and most importantly, my dear students. It is my great pleasure to be with you here on this occasion on the closing ceremony of the 92nd annual sports meet of St. Anthony's Higher Secondary School, inter-house and inter-school. It has been my delight to witness the beautiful displays of drill, of dance, and most importantly, the wonderful display of competition and sportsmanship by all of you. So before I commence my speech, I want each and every one of you to give yourselves, to give your teachers, and to give your parents who have supported you a very big round of applause. <laughs> my dear friend, sports goes like this. The five S's of sports training, or the five attributes which any sports person should have, are stamina, speed, skill, strength, and spirit. But the greatest of these is spirit. Today, my dear friends, I have truly seen the spirit of sportsman and sportswomanship amongst each and every one of you. And this, I can see, is the outcome of a wonderful visionary leadership of the school in promoting sports, in uh, wonderfully executing and planning this grand sports event, and by each and every one of you for truly giving it your all. My dear friends, sports form such an important part of our daily lives, especially in your school days. These are the best days of your lives, as I have heard some of you sing during that Brian Adams song just now. It is the best time of your life and sports and games plays a vital part of it. Your respected principal has just informed me that the school has several plans to improve the capacity to give the best sports training possible to all the schools and to promote a spirit of healthy competition amongst yourselves, amongst each other and amongst the different schools as well. We are glad to know that the school encourages several disciplines of sports, be it football, athletics, basketball and others, and that you also take part in the inter-school and inter-district displays which are held every year under the aegis of the Directorate and Sports Affairs. My dear friends, I remember my own school days when many times we used to come on this very field and it was with a sense of wonder and awe that we watched the beautiful displays and we cheered on our teams to do well. If any of you, I know that there are many amongst you who has a dream to excel in a particular in the government, are doing our best to try and support and promote different skills and games so that one day we will see some of you achieve success not only at the state level but at the national level and perhaps even on an international platform. I learned that many of the athletes right now who are running so fast are also state level players. It gives me tremendous encouragement to know that many of them are training at SAI. Many of them have represented their school and their district and their state at different fora. I want that one day among this group of young boys and girls here, we will be able to have a Piri Sindhu or a Saina Nehwal or a Mirabai Chanu or a Neeraj Chopra or an Abhinav Bindra. I hope you know all these names. I hope you recognize these names. They are champions. They are Olympians. Like Hima Das, some of you have run like the wind. Some of you aspire to be like a Usain Bolt. And believe you me, it is possible. But you have to go at it with 
with dedication, with patience, with persistence, and with confidence. Remember, my dear friends, that nothing worth it comes easy. If you want to excel at anything, be it sports, be it your studies, be it football, be it music, be it anything that you want to do, you have to work hard and you have to have discipline. Sports, the skills that sports gives you, the five S's which I mentioned just now, they are attributes which will give you confidence and which will help you not just to be good sports people, but they will help to make you good workers, good professionals, and ultimately good human beings. So I am so happy to have this tremendous opportunity to be able to witness all of you from the sports department. We are trying very hard to identify and to catch talent early. In recent days, we were, we had the Elite Pathway Program, which is aimed at screening the best amongst the best. 24,000 tests were conducted for around 8,000 boys and girls in 12 districts, out of which, based on digital rankings, 200 were selected. They will be groomed for a one-year program. And we urge the school authorities, we urge the parents, if your child, if your student has promise, has potential, encourage them, bring them forward, and we will also try to give them the best possible support so that one day you will shine for your state and for your country. Before I conclude, I want to say it is very important to win. It is very important to aim for success. But please remember that failure is also a stepping stone to success. Not everyone can get a gold, not everyone can get a silver, not everyone can get a bronze. Some of us may be lagging behind, some of us may feel disheartened, some of the schools may feel we have tried so hard, we have trained so much, but we still haven't achieved our goal. Remember, if you persist, one day you will. And even if you fall, like Father Anthony has shown us, get up again, get back up again on your feet. example. My biggest learnings individually has been not from the different successes that I've had, but from my failures, from those uh, times in my life where I was pushed into a corner, where I did not get what I want, but it urged me to work harder, to try better, and to put my faith in God. So my dear young friends, I want to encourage all of you as well, be determined, be strong, and always have a spirit of friendship, of love, of compassion. This is what sports treat, uh, teaches us at the end of the day. The team spirit, you have to egg each other on, you have to encourage each other on, and one day you will taste success. So with these few words, my heartiest congratulations to St. Anthony's High Secondary School, everyone who has been involved in this wonderful program, all the schools who have participated, all the teachers, faculty, staff, volunteers, the past pupils who have shown such a wonderful spirit of participation, dear parents and my dear boys and girls. My heartiest congratulations to all of you. May God bless you and thank you very much. God bless you.